We're here at a little restaurant downtown. Oh, what's with that waiter? A little rude, don't you think? Just plop the food on the table like that without saying a word? Who does that? This close-lipped waiter is Yuji Ikeda. Hey, son, what's with the attitude? Why can't you say something for God's sake? <sighs> Apparently, one day he wasn't able to utter a word, and since that day, he's been quiet and withdrawn. He's here at his parents' restaurant, helping them out because of the busy lunch schedule. Hey, looks like you two are always together lately. Guess you guys hit it off, huh? I'm Alice Manasse. I attend S. Mana University, but I'm also a well-known actress and model. Yes, well, I suppose I like being with her. Or, might I say, I feel comfortable just being in her presence. Yes, whenever I feel like going somewhere, the first person that comes up is Sen. Oh, really? I feel the same way. My friend Senna is always looking for the right person, so I introduced him to my actress friend. She may just be the girl he's been looking for, huh? Yeah, I'm just surprised they haven't gone out more. Yeah, right when the timing seems right, Sarah always backs down for some reason. Yeah, I go stir-crazy just watching them sometimes. When Yuji got home, he immediately started looking through his book about cakes. Yuji's always been a good kid. He was working hard to take over the restaurant from his parents. But then one day... I bet if I can make a great cake, maybe I can help my folks out a bit. This is my creation. I bet the customers will love it. What do you think? What the hell is this? You expect me to serve that crap to the customers? You sure don't have the knack for making cakes. All that expensive ingredients. What a total waste. Huh? But I was only... His parents didn't even taste his cakes. They just rejected it offhand. As a result. What's wrong with me? Why can't I speak? What's going on? <laughs> you can't speak? Give me a break. Stop screwing around, Yuji. Yeah, give it a day or two. It'll come back. From that day on, Yuji's voice simply stopped working. And he stopped socializing with people, staying home all the time. But he secretly made his cakes late at night while his parents were asleep. The night he was reprimanded for not speaking to the customers. Hey, Yuji. We need to talk, kid. I found you the perfect place to live. Yes, after today we realized you're not suited for city life. So I arranged for you to live and work in the countryside where my cousin Tak runs a restaurant. <laughs> this hit Yuji hard. It was totally unexpected. And it turns out that this cousin of his was a former bad boy back when they were kids. What am I going to do? What's going to happen if a voiceless guy like me shows up there? Just do your best, kid. Yuji's father handed him a map and his train tickets. Just so you know, this is an old beat-up restaurant way in the countryside, so... He'd be perfect for that place in my opinion. Oh my god, I'm actually here. What am I going to do? Uh huh. so you're Yuji. Pleased to meet you, kid. I'm your Uncle Tak. Come on in. Huh? Yes, the guy does look like a former hooligan of sorts. Oh, this doesn't look good. Yuji was nervous as hell, not knowing what to expect. So, uh, I can't hear you speak. Is that true? Yeah, well, it must be tough. This is my restaurant. Not much of a looker, but the locals love the place. It's called Dragon Kitchen. Okay, Yuji. I look forward to working with you, kid. Yeah, me too. Wish I could speak for Christ's sake. Despite appearances, Yuji was a bit taken aback by his welcome and kindness. I'm impressed, kid. You seem cautious and polite. Here, take this. That's one month's advance payment. I know you probably don't have any money, so don't blow it all in a day, kid. <laughs> but... but I haven't even started working yet. Yuji was pretty down after he wasn't able to speak. This is the first time anybody had been kind to him. I really appreciate this, sir. We've only just met. Why are you so kind to me? 
I can see you trying to thank me, kid. <laughs> no need. Just put in the time and I'm good to go. Because you can't talk, you're gonna have to work in the kitchen preparing food and all that. You're okay with that, I guess. I really have to work my butt off. I have to repay his kindness. Several days after Yuji started working. Voila! I just completed my new recipe. Take a look, people. I made this cake. But it ain't no ordinary cake. This one is specially made for couples. But it was not what everybody expects. Uh-huh. Yeah, right. Uh, sorry to say this, boss. No way anybody is gonna pay good money for... Uh, this... Uh, yeah, you may be alright. I figured as much. I'm just not cut out for cakes and sweets. Gotta be more creative, I suppose. Maybe I can do this. I bet my cake will help. What's up, Yuji? What are you doing? Leave it to me, boss. I got this. Oh my god, Yuji. Have you made cakes before? I had no idea. Wow, the way you move! I mean, you seem like a pro! In no time, Yuji was able to create a wonderful and delicious looking cake. Uh, are you saying uh, taste it, Yuji? Yes, boss. I want to know what you think of it. They all proceeded to have a taste of the cake Yuji created. Holy cow! This cake tastes great! How the hell did you do it? I can't believe he used the same ingredients as you, boss. What's the secret? Yeah, uh, right. Man, this cake would sell like hotcakes, <laughs> pun intended. Hey, Yuji, I'm gonna put this on a menu starting tomorrow. You think you can manage? Sure thing, boss. As promised, the boss put the cake on the menu and the customers started showing an interest. They made the cake a little larger than usual, so it was recommended for couples. Wow, check out this cake! So cute! Hey, it seems they just started today. Wanna try it out? You bet! Hope it's as good as it looks. Isn't it great coming to this kind of place in the countryside? I love it! Yes, I agree completely. Welcome! We just added a new item to the menu. A delicious cake! It's pretty big, so we recommend that couples like yourselves enjoy it. What do you say? You mean we share one cake? The two of us? Eating out of one plate? Oh my god, I never thought that was possible! Come on, Sen, relax. It looks delicious. I want to try it. What do you say, Sen? Or are you not keen on it? Well, if you insist. Okay, let's have one, why don't we? Coming right up! Uh, wow, this looks even better than the photo! So cute! This is totally awesome! Let's dig in! Yes, let's dig in! Mm, wow, this tastes wonderful! Yeah, for sure! At that moment, it seemed Senna was overwhelmed by a sudden urge of strength. Up until now, he wasn't able to tell her that he liked her and wanted to go steady with her. But suddenly... I'm totally in love with you. Would you go out with me? He finally went out and said it. Senna, I'm speechless. Uh, yes, I'd be happy to. Yeah, yeah congratulations. 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 After that little incident, she uploaded the photos to my Instagram. Because she already had a lot of followers, the Dragon Kitchen became famous overnight. Excuse me, could we have the cake for couples that, uh, love us cake? Yes, of course, coming right up. Uh, I was always interested in you. Sorry to be so frank. Uh, don't worry. Actually, I was too. Really? <laughs> That's awesome. I guess the rumors about the lover's cake were true. Yuji, got an order for three more lover's cakes. Can you handle it, man? <sighs> I'm so happy that everyone loves my cake. Word of mouth spread about the delicious lover's cake. Day by day, the buzz spread like wildfire. The shop continued to do brisk business. It's enough so that the place was remodeled, which drew in even more customers. That was all you, Yuji. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have achieved this much. I really gotta thank you, man. <sighs> 
It's all because you gave me the chance, boss. I'm forever grateful to you for believing in me. As for Yuji's parents... Hey, take a look at this, would ya? Huh? Hey, isn't that where Yuji works? That's Tok's place, isn't it? I thought his place was some old dump in the country. Can you believe it? Tok, that delinquent back in the day, he doesn't deserve this. And what's more, this cake, this so-called lover's cake, it says Yuji is making it. And to think he only disrupted business here. Why didn't he help us out for God's sake? We should get him back here and force him to make this cake here. Yeah, that sounds like an awesome idea. <laughs> Welcome. The uh, hold on a second. What are you doing here? Sorry to tell you this, but Yuji's gonna quit this place starting today. Yeah, that's right. We figured it would be best that he be with his family, so we're here to pick him up. Uh, I'm sorry, but don't you think it's a bit sudden? But they ignored him and barged into the kitchen without permission, and confronted Yuji as he was preparing a cake. There you are, Yuji. You're coming home right now, kid. I don't want to go. I want to continue making cakes here for Uncle Tak. You can't take me. I mean, look at the time. He's saying he wants to go home. Yeah, you've been making him work his butt off here. He says he's sick and tired of it. Ugh, I didn't say anything like that. Yuji. Yeah, I get it, man. I've been relying on you for way too long, man. Please forgive me. No, I enjoy being here, Uncle Tak. Come on, let's get going. Get your stuff. And so Yuji was forced to rejoin his parents back in the city. Okay, Yuji. From this day forward, I want you to make your cake to your heart's delight. And work on another one of your hit products, would you please? Yuji, of course, was reluctant to, but he had no other choice but to comply. He decided to make a completely different cake from the lover's cake. Well, looks okay. Might just sell. That lover's cake restricts the number of customers, so we'll call this the, uh, blocky cake. Brings fortune to whoever eats it. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, that sounds great. The more you eat, the more luck it's gonna bring you. I love it. But this so-called lucky cake was a dud. Does this cake really bring you luck? I ate this the other day, but nothing happened. Gradually, people started to vent their frustration. Well, there are small things that happened, uh, good things, but we just don't notice them, that's all. You know what? I bet if you ate like 10 of them, it would definitely bring you good luck. I want to get back to Dragon Kitchen no matter what. Meanwhile, over at the Dragon Kitchen... <sighs> no matter how hard I try, I just can't replicate the kind of cake that Yuji makes. Tuck put up a sign explaining that the cake maker was on vacation for a while. But that little ploy has reached its limits. Hey boss, a lot of people are asking when the lover's cake will be back. What do we tell them? Yeah, you're right. This can't go on much longer, I suppose. We have no other choice but to try my very own lover's cake. Tuck tried his best, but he was just not able to recreate the famed cake. Oh my god, this is awful! Not only does it taste awful, it doesn't look very appetizing. I'm so sorry. I apologize. I'm very sorry. It's no use. No matter how hard I try, I can't do it. Gradually, customers stopped coming. Finally, they were on the verge of closing shop. Meanwhile... I keep making these cakes, but I get no praise. All I get are complaints after complaints. Yuji was at his wit's end. He made the decision to run away. Hey, there aren't any more lucky cakes in the fridge. Huh? What the hell? Oh crap, Yuji's nowhere in sight. Where the hell did he go? What? Why does he have to keep causing us so much trouble? Doesn't look like we'll have many customers today, but I may as well open. Uh, Yuji, what are you doing here? I have to tell him. I have to convey my feelings properly, in my own voice. I... I want to work. I want to work here. Here at Dragon Kitchen. Yuji, you're finally able to speak. That's awesome. In his desperation to convey his true feelings to Uncle Tuck, he overcame his past trauma. 
As for Yuji's folks... Would you take a look at this? He left this note behind! Huh, the recipe of the lover's cake, huh? That's great. That lucky cake didn't do that well. We sell this and we're gonna be rich! You can say that again. We have this recipe and we no longer need Yuji! <laughs> With that, Yuji's parents took the recipe as their own. They began selling the cake as the original lover's cake. This is just a complete ripoff of the dragon kitchen cake. They say original, but sure doesn't taste anywhere as good as dragon kitchens. Well, their original lover's cake was panned across the board. Some even dubbing it the phony lover's cake. The nickname stuck and went viral on social media. Eventually, customers stopped coming. What the hell is this? Why? This recipe is the real thing! Several months later, Yuji's parents' restaurant finally went belly up. Meanwhile, back at the Dragon Kitchen, with the rebirth of the Lover's Cake, the new name became the New and Improved Lover's Cake. Hey boss, got a whole batch of cakes ready to go. Thanks, Yuji. Man, they won't stop coming. Gotta say, kid, you're a genius. Yeah, well, I'm really indebted to you, Uncle Tak. You changed my life forever. I'll never forget it. I'm the one who should be thanking you, man. You returned that favor to me ten times over already. The meeting of Yuji and Tak changed both of their lives forever. And as for that couple... This is really a beautiful restaurant. The food is really awesome. Let's put that aside for now. Where shall we have our wedding? And how many children do you want? I drew up these plans for after we're married. It's a 60-year plan, all in detail. I want you to look over it, and if there's anything that needs fixing, uh, let me know. I'll get on it right away. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. Uh, but we only just started dating, so I'm not really thinking about getting married or anything. Are you serious? The love of my life not thinking about marriage? Marriage must be in the works, right? I mean, it's a given, I thought. And kids, uh, what about our kids? Uh, uh yeah, uh, you know what? I don't really think we're suited for each other. Um, sorry and goodbye. Pardon me, you're joking, right? Well, that relationship ended sooner than I expected. Why? Why? Everything was going smoothly. What the hell happened? Hey, Sera. I think you're blowing things way out of proportion. Uh, take it a little more easier, would ya? Oh boy, and I thought things were finally gonna work out for them. Next time, yes, next time, I will meet the girl of my dreams. How about you guys? No? Well, have some of this lover's cake and you might be surprised. Depends on whether you believe in such things or not, I guess. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Looking for more interesting stories and videos? Then come check out other videos from Mani Mani people here! We'd love to hear your thoughts, too. Drop a line in the comments below. See you soon!